Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Today our lecture is based on the soil mechanics. In this lecture, we will find the unknown pressure of the soil, the total pressure, the pore pressure and the effective pressure of the soil. So let's start with the description of the numerical problem which states that a soil sample of total depth of 8 meter having water table at 2 meter from the top of the soil surface. So this is the figure given here on the left side in which the total depth of the soil sample is 8 meter and the water table is 2 meter from the top of the soil. So the top of the soil is so 2 meter from the top of the soil. The unit weight of the soil are given in the figure. You can see here the unit weight for the 2 meter depth is given as 1.9 ton per cubic meter and for the rest of the soil sample which is below the uh, water table the unit weight of the uh, soil is 1.8 ton per cubic meter. So, and we are requested to find the total pressure, the pore pressure and the effective pressure of this soil sample. So, I will uh, find the three unknown pressure of the soil, the total pressure, the pore pressure and the effective pressure. So, I can start from here, the uh, total pressure, I can write it here to total pressure here, I will find. And then here, pore pressure, pore water pressure. And then at the last, I can write here effective pressure. So I can also draw a margin line between these three types of the pressure because they are quite different from one another. So the total pressure, first to find the total pressure, uh, we know that the total pressure is represented by sigma here because it's the stress. So it's equal to the game of the soil multiplying with the depth of the soil. So by multiplying the density, the unit weight of the soil with the depth of the soil, you can find the total pressure of the soil at any point. So let's starting from this depth at uh, which uh, at the top of the soil surface where the depth z is equal to zero. So at zero meter, what we have sigma is equal to the gamma is one point gamma is we don't have we don't have gamma and we don't at this point of the surface which is the top of the surface where our height is zero so because of the height is zero if you multiply with the gamma which is unknown here and multiplying with the zero we will get the zero zero ton per square meter so it means that the stress is at the top of the surface zero because of the height because we don't have height the second one uh, to start the uh, find the total pressure at this point which is two meter from the top of the surface so here we can write the z is two meter and we can find uh, at this point the total pressure which is two meter two meters the z and gamma is 1.9 meter 1.9 ton per cubic meter so 1.9 multiplying with the two we will get the total pressure which comes out to be here in this case it is 3.8 ton per square meter so this is the uh, total pressure of the soil at this point at two meter from the above surface now at the distance here at the eight meter from the top of the surface so what we have at eight meter the total stress will be equal to the here we have the depth now the depth here from the top from this point to this point is subtracting the eight meter from the two meter because there's a total depth and this depth is two meter so we can write it here at the eight subtracting the two we get the six meter so the uh, saturated soil which is below the uh, which is below the this point is uh, six meter and there's a uh, density the unit weight of the saturated soil here is 1.8 ton per cubic meter so 1.8 multiplying with the depth which is six meter here so what we get we get the required value which is 10.8 ton per square meter so this is the uh, total pressure at this point of the soil I can also show the profile of the soil with the total pressure so this is the soil profile where there is a zero meter the top of the soil there is a two meter and there is a eight meter the total depth so the stress here at zero meter is zero so we can start from here and then at two meter it comes out to be 3.8 ton per square meter so it is 3.8 here at this point and then at eight meter it comes out to be 10.8 so it increases here 
So I can write 10.8 here, 10 per square meter here, this is a pressure at this point, and here it is 3.8 ton per square meter. So this is the um, as total pressure um, a distribution over the depth of the soil. Now coming to the pore pressure. The pore pressure is usually represented by uh, mu here and uh, the pore pressure is uh, can be found out in the similar way as the total pressure but here in this case the pore pressure depends on the water table. So starting from the, the formula will be the same like gamma into z but starting from the depth 0 meter we have z is equal to 0 meter so because of the z0 if you multiply with the gamma we will get 0 pore water pressure now a 2 meter a 2 meter from the top of the uh, surface a 2 meter distance from the top of the surface our pore water pressure is again equal to 0 because the water table is below the 2 meter so that's why up to the 2 meter there is no pore water pressure so with a distance of 8 meter from the top of the surface our pore water pressure will be there because now we have the depth of now there is water table here uh, below the 2 meter so we have water table at a distance of 6 meter the total depth of uh, the soil where there is water table is 6 meter so how we can find the pore water pressure is equal to the gamma and gamma multiplying with the z so gamma gamma is known for the water the gamma is 1 ton per cubic meter so we can write it here 1 is the unit weight is the density is the unit weight of the water and multiplying with the z which is 6 meter here so we got 6 ton per square meter is the u is the uh, pore water pressure at the depth of the uh, at the total depth of 6 meter and here at the bottom we have 6 ton per square meter the total pore water pressure and it is because of the water here there is no water above the 6 meter so that's why we have 0 pore water pressure now similarly to draw the profile of the uh, here the pressure distribution the pore water pressure distribution so we can make the margin line the reference line and we are, here, here we represent the 0 meter here we represent the 2 meter here we represent the 8 meter so at 0 meter we have 0, at 2 meter we have 0, at 8 meter we have 6 ton per square meter. So 0 here is also 0 and then it increases from 2 meter up to the 6 ton per square meter. So our pore water pressure starts from the distance of 2 meter because from the distance of 2 meter we have pore water pressure. We have water table. So our pore water pressure starts here from 2 meter. Now to find the effect of pressure which is nothing but it is this, uh, represented by usually by sigma dash and it is equal to the subtracting the total pressure from the pore water pressure so for the case of 0 meter 0 meter how we can find we subtract the total pressure which is 0 minus and there we also have 0 so we have 0 ton per square meter at the top of the soil surface now a 2 meter effective pressure pre uh, pressure uh, sigma dash will be equal to the total pressure which is 3.8 subtracting the uh, pore water pressure at a distance of 2 which is 0 so we get the 3.8 ton per square meter now at a distance of 8 meter similarly pore water pressure will be equal to the 10.8 subtracting the 6 so we get 4.8 ton per square meter the pore water the effective pressure at a distance of 8 meter is 4.8 ton per square meter and similarly now to draw the profile of the uh, for the effective pressure of the soil we can draw the reference line margin lines here we can write the 2 meter 0 meter 2 meter and then the 8 meter here so at 0 meter the effective pressure is 0 so I can start from here and then at 2 meter it is 3.8 which is similar to the uh, total pressure 3.8 here and then and then at a distance of 8 meter we have 4.8 ton per square meter so here is 3.8 and it will be here is 4.8 so these were the three profiles of one for the total pressure which is the highest one it shows the highest pressure at the top, bottom of the soil which is 10.8 ton per square meter and here for the pore water pressure which is less uh, than the total water pressure total pressure of the soil and then we have effect to 
uh, a pressure di profile distribution which is less than the uh, which is less than the total pressure because in total pressure uh, we don't subtract the pore water pressure while in the case of the fricto pressure we subtract the uh, uh, the total pressure from the pore water pressure to get the effecto pressure hope you guys understand how to find the total pressure the pore pressure and the effecto pressure of the soil and don't forget to subscribe my channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching my video